Where has Master Chai gone? It's a mystery for the ages. It didn't take long for folks to start moaning after Valtteri left. Now everyone in Yulmore's got something to complain about. Wouldn't want to be in the Master Chai's shoes, having to keep that lot happy. For the people, with furrowed brow, Alphino carefully considers where best to look next. All we know for certain is that Master Chai has shown great concern not only for Yulmore, but its surrounding settlements. It seems logical then that having consulted with those within the city walls, he would wish to do the same to those without. Tiov, if you would go and make inquiries in right, I shall do likewise in Stilltide. Gate Town, I leave to you, Kai Shia. Fair enough. Where should we meet when we've finished? Well, Toprong would seem to me to be his next most likely... likely destination. <laughs> Bella? My dog is trying to crawl in my lap. Let us reconvene there. With any luck, one of us will have stumbled upon him by then. But if not, we will be well situated to continue our search. Right. Let's go. And now, let's see what my dog needs. Alright. Now we're off to... Hastalot. Out here in Wright. Is he the new mayor? We installed a new mayor over there in Wright at one point. And we helped install a new mayor. Hello? Mayor? Hmm. Somebody must be inside. Oh, Hastalot, over here. I see you now. We've got to protect our food stores! Who's this, then? No, the name doesn't ring any bells, but there was a rather dapper-looking mistal gentleman here not long ago. He wanted to talk about relations between Wright and Yulmore, or rather the lack of them. We lost a great many people to the promises of meal and the chance of a lavish life among the free. And Vothri thought to take even more from us, conscripting the few able-bodied men we had left to guard his paradise. I needn't tell you what happened when the Sin Eaters came. Such things are hard to forgive. But Vothri's gone now, and we're curious to see what will become of Yulmore in his absence. That's what I told your friend. Chai News, was it? And I'm sure the others said the same. Not what he wanted to hear, I suppose, because he left soon after, and that was that. Oh, okay, that was... that was that, then. He's, uh... We're learning about life after Lord Vothery. The struggles... of... a change in leadership. Uh, oh, we're supposed to go to the top rung. Well, we can just fly straight up. We don't need the elevator. This is quite... Quite a large elevator. <laughs> Darn. This goes up and up forever. Hey, we made it! How did you guys get here without a flying chocobo? Turns out Master Chai was over in Gate Town too. He spoke to a few of the residents, apparently. They told me they'd never seen a posh bloke look so miserable. So he paid a visit to both Wright and Gate Town as well, did he? Meow, 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 meow. I see. Kaishir and I gleaned much the same. He seems determined to salvage what goodwill might yet remain among the settlements of Calusia, the only likely place he has left to go being Amity. Come, if we are quick, we may yet catch up with him.
Ah, no, no. I... Oh, no. Sorry, peeps. I didn't mean to summon you. I'm gonna have to unsummon you now. Hey, we found him! Just like that! What are you doing out here, Chai News? Everyone's worried sick about you! Hello? Oh! Oh, he hello! Oh, gee, oh, over now! Kaishia, what are you doing here? We might ask you the same, Master Chai. We've been looking all over for you. Looking for me? Whatever for? Lady Chai has been nigh inconsolable in your absence. She claims you disappeared without so much as a word and bade us return you to her side. What in blazes is she talking about? I left a letter for her in our chambers. Though I suppose she could have overlooked it, and when she gets an idea into her head, uh, I can only apologize. No harm done, Master Chai, but since we are here, might we ask what compelled you to come all this way? We were told you had been elected mayor, and from what we have gathered from nearby villages, you have been inquiring about the people's grievances. Is it safe to assume you mean to take office? No, oh, no, let's not jump to conclusions. I did seek to learn about the problems faced by the people of Calusia. That much is true. But I am by no means sure I am the man to solve them. Tackling our many challenges will require resources. And until... <coughs> until I get this infernal dust out of my throat from this desert air. Till I have secured them... The resources, that is, it would not be right to assume the role of mayor. I see, and you believe said resources can be found here? Yes, yes, indeed. The people's grievances are many, but in the course of my inquiries, I have already met with several individuals willing to lend their aid in addressing them. However, there remains one individual crucial to my plans. A man whose counsel might yet make a mayor of me. Uh, with respect, much forethought is in itself proof of your suitability. Such forethought, that is. The city needs you, Master Chai, and I am certain this man of whom you speak, whoever he may be, will reach the same conclusion. For what little it is worth, we will vouch for you should he require convincing. We believe in you, Master Chai. Whatever you need, you can count on us. He doesn't like it when you just give him... Uh... Platitudes. We learned that from that mini-game. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. You've got your actions to speak for you. For as long as I can remember, all I ever wanted was to make it into you more. But that dream's gone now. Burst like a bubble. Or a boil, more like. Anyway, outside of repaying Master Alphano, I haven't had a clue what to do with myself. Spent most days in a daze. But you, you've been running up and down trying to find a way to fix this mess for everyone. And I reckon you can do it. You got this lot up Mount Gould, didn't you? How hard could mayoring be? You're going to steer you more to a better future, I know it. And I want to help. Properly help. Do something that makes a difference. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll work it out on the way. If you let me come with you, that is. Oh. Well, oh, you give me entirely too much credit, the lot of you. But I can't deny it gives me heart. Come then, let us press on together. In the dark of night. Thank you, Master Chai. 
but we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. Humor needs more than a man with a good intention, which is why I'm here, to find one with the experience needed to see the city thrive. Who is this man exactly, and are you certain he's here in Amity? Rendon is his name, and yes, he is, or was. I'd scarcely begun to explain myself when he decided his time was better spent elsewhere. He served as chief advisor to Vortri's father when he was in office. If Ranjit was the mayor's right hand, one might say Rendon was the left, and between them they kept Yulmor on the road to prosperity. The city needs more than a mere man of business, which is why I must find him. Hmm, but even if you do, what makes you think he will listen? Before giving chase, might it not be wise to speak with those who know him here in Amity? They may be able to shed some light on this his, his reason for rejecting your overtures out of hand. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Perhaps we should start with Tristel then. As I recall, you made rather a favorable impression upon him. I'm certain he would be willing to talk to us. And look, he's right here. Well, I realize it was me who suggested speaking with Tristel, but who's to say he will be any more receptive than Rendon? Why should any of them give me the time of day? Ah, oh, that's no way to think. Ignore me. According to Master Chai, this Rendon fellow occupied a position of considerable influence in the Yule Moran leadership, which begs the question, why did he choose to leave? I reckon you more could learn a thing or two from Amity about standing on its own two feet. Then again, so could I. Greetings, friend, and to you too, Master Chai. I presume you are here to ask after Rendon? I couldn't help overhearing your earlier exchange. Yes, well, with Vorthrigon, you more wants for a leader. Should no one rise to the challenge, the city could very well collapse. I came here seeking Rendon's counsel in the hope that we could build a better Yulmore together. And that is still my wish. But given how abominably you were mistreated there, I will quite understand if you choose not to help. Worry not, Master Chai. I bear no grudge against you or the people of Yulmore. And I would not see you suffer for Vorthri's villainy. As you note, well, you did throw the guy off the balcony, didn't you? Didn't you, dude, literally throw, th throw this guy over the balcony? <laughs> that seems like villainy to me. Anyway, as you no doubt gathered from your meeting earlier, Rendon can be rather uncompromising. He has his, he has his principles, you see. A little patience for anyone who he deems less committed to it their own. Your desire to right the wrongs of your past, or Yulmore's past, is quite admirable, but I fear the guilt you bear on the city's behalf works against you. I can see it in your eyes and the way you carry yourself. It goes without saying, he sees it as well. You must let those feelings go, Master Chai. Be more assertive. Commit to this course. And prove to him Yulmore has the resolve to change. The resolve to change. I believe he was heading toward Pit 8 when he left. If you plan to go and speak with him, I suggest you be firm and clear in your intentions. Alright then, alright. Very well. To Pit 8 we shall go, and I will not take no for an answer. Nay, not even a maybe. Alright then. Finally, we get to see what's in Pit 8. We've gone by it several times in the expansion. Never once stopping here. Because there's never been anybody here before. It's just an empty town. Oh, with a little door in it. Hmm, what is that? Well, well, it's you again. 
Oh, I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Ilmorans. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, to Lord Forthree's villainy, the famous warriors of darkness. Are they now? Well, actually, it's just me that this is the warrior of darkness. Alphino's not a warrior of darkness. It's just me. I'm the only one. Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthry. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Here, here, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable. Yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmor. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthree was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthree's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. Good question. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. Chai News. You can do it. But this much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmor can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. A great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmor seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found. As much food and drink as we could ever want. Secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course. Content to, as you say, wallow in indolence in ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. The distinction between free and bonded died with Vorthree. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive. To which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmor for the people.
a humor for the people. I rather like the sound of that. Yes. But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. You would? You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems. At first, I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following. It remains to be seen if his words will translate into deeds, but I shall endeavor to keep an open mind. Imagine it, a you more that even a bloke like me could help to build. I'm stuck here in your chocobo's tail feathers. People... People... People cannot be brought together on the strength of high ideals alone. This I know from painful experience. Rendon was right to demand proof of Master Chai's commitment. <coughs> right then. Is there a particular issue you would have me resolve? You seem to have conducted an assessment of the problems Yulmore now faces. I assume you will agree, therefore, that the matter of dwindling food stores is the most pressing. Why, uh, Ah, yes. Meal being neither a desirable nor less sustainable option, I assume alternative foodstuffs are now required to fill the void. And a man who hungers is not like to contribute much to society, save violence, perhaps. So tell me, how do you propose to solve this problem? Give me a satisfactory answer and I will consider offering you my counsel. Oh, well, let me think about this a little bit. Um, it's a difficult problem, yes, I, I see what you're saying. But um, perhaps, maybe, let me see. Yes, I think I've got it. A combination of measures would seem to be in order. One to address the immediate issue of supply, and another, that of production. Go on. For the present, Yulmore's coffers can be used to purchase food from our neighbors. This would afford us time to address the underlying problem that affects us all, the long-standing neglect of agriculture. The villages that once served as sources of food, trade, sources of trade for foodstuffs must be repopulated their means of production restored. This assumes, of course, that we can rekindle relations with our neighbors, guarantee security and stability in the region, and most importantly, find people willing to leave the city and take up the rebuilding effort. My, my. Think of, th think of that all by yourself, did you? Well, well, yes. It began as a rather abstract plan I drafted some time ago, after speaking with the peoples of Yulmore and the nearby settlements. Hmm. Well, you've impressed me, Chai News. Oh, I have? Well, that is a relief. Oh, you haven't secured my support just yet. Only my attention. Grand plans will not be enough to persuade the masses. If you ask them to rebuild, you must provide them the means to do so. A uh, fair point, Randon. One to which I have given much thought. I propose to use... I propose the use of Talos to aid in the establishment and maintenance of those settlements. Their employment should drastically improve efficiency and ultimately increase production. Talos? But Daedalus Stoneworks closed their doors years ago. Without a ready supply of the necessary equipment, the people would starve before your plans could be put into effect. Well, as the heir to Daedalus Thune works, it, it just so happens that my Talos are my field of ex expertise. It just so happens that Talos are my field of expertise, is what I'm trying to say. 
and with a little help, I'm quite certain we can acquire what we need in no time at all. Right? Well, we'll see. We'll see, Master Chai. We'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, these tail feathers. They're all just stuck in my... <laughs> they're all in my mouth. Do you see it? There's a fire in Master Chai's eyes that was not there when we first met. A fire we had best keep kindled if we wish to see you more change for the better. That rending geezer didn't seem so bad. Oh, what was Master Chai worried about? He's got to give himself a bit more credit. You had a hand in constructing that giant talus to the north, did you, did you not? When the Yulmore and volunteers began arriving, I hid myself away, lest I be recognized, thus depriving myself of what I am reliably informed was a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Bugger. <laughs> oh, nope, we're not ready for the next quest yet. we finished this quest. It's daytime, there's dust in the air, there's storms and wind blowing all over the place here. We've... Wow, that's... I, I don't like the day-night cycles in this game. I wish it would stay with the same... <laughs> I wish it would stay daytime all the time. Anyway, we're finished with the quest. 